Hi there, it's Misty. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So it's been a minute since I've done a video. It's been over a year actually. Um, I have been dealing with some major health issues, but I finally have a routine now or um, I, I've learned when to work around when my worst times are. So hopefully I will start doing uh, videos again. I love doing them. I love editing them and I love sharing, you know, with you what I've created. So I, I know there's a lot of questions that people have posted that I haven't responded to yet, but I promise I will get to those as soon as I have a moment. Anyway, so I'm making this card for this week's Simon Says Stamp Wednesday Challenge. Our challenge is summertime blues and we are showcasing products from My Favorite Things. So I started out with my background because I knew I was going to have to set this aside to dry. I took all of my blue and green alcohol inks and I'm just kind of blending them all together. Obviously I'm using some Yupo paper here. Um, I was trying to what I had envisioned were lines that went kind of straight across. That's not necessarily how it turned out, but I'm happy with the way it turned out. It, it, I mean, it worked for what I was doing and I ended up getting two panels out of it, which I like. So I'm just going to keep blending these colors together and try to get something that resembles water. I didn't care if it was ocean water, river water, lake water, it didn't matter. I just wanted it to kind of resemble water. And I am using isopropyl alcohol. I couldn't get the lid off of my alcohol blending solution. And so, but I think the isopropyl alcohol is the same thing or it's similar. But anyway, so I'm just using as, uh, isopropyl alcohol. That's kind of hard to say. So I'm adding a couple little dots of green in here. And I'm using this Tim Holtz uh, alcohol blower to move the color around a little bit. Some of, I haven't used these inks in over a year, so I think that's why, I don't know if they go bad, but there was one particular color that it was um, almost chunky looking on the paper. So I don't, I don't know if it went bad or why I did that, but I just uh, kind of tried to cover it up with a different color because I wasn't really feeling the, the chunky look. Now I was happy with these dark spots that you see because my plan was to use some um, deco foil transfer sheets and uh, get kind of a cool different colored blue foily look to the dark spots because usually they're sticky. But unfortunately I waited too long. I let it dry overnight and then there was no sticky spots for me to stick the foil to. So uh, that idea went out the window, but it would have looked really cool if I would have thought about it and uh, did it the night before. I like adding the foil uh, when my panel is still a little bit wet. All right, so I'm using this adorable stamp set by My Favorite Things called Really a Great Day. And I'm using some Express It Copic Friendly Blending Card. And I'm gonna, I'm only leaving a little bit of the Copic coloring in here just because I wanted to uh, explain my process here. So I haven't colored in quite a while, so I'm a little bit rusty. So instead of uh, going for the darkest color first, which is what I like to do a lot of the times, I'm gonna start with the lightest color and just kind of practice my flicking motion. And I'm gonna go through all the colors until I get to the darkest color and do the exact same thing. So normally I would have started with the darker color and and did this flicking motion and then I would have went to the next the, the next lightest color and extended my flicks a little bit longer and all the way down through all four colors I have. But I just wasn't comfortable doing that um, just because it's been so long since I've colored. So that's what I'm doing, you'll see I'm practicing each time and then so that way when I get to my darkest color I'm I don't screw it up because <laughs> I didn't want to I didn't want to start this over again but I'm actually pretty happy with the way this little boat turned out so now once I have my darkest color down I'm going to go back through the process going to the next lightest color and then down to my very lightest color until the whole boat is colored in and I'm using uh, the E40's family, color family for my boat. 
But see how it just, I don't know, I think just a little bit of practice was really helpful to get kind of the look of, of uh, you know, to make it look like it's a wood boat. And then I'll fill in the lightest areas with the lightest color. And now I was still doing the flicking motion, but, uh, you know, basically I was just trying to fill in that area by where the ore is. But so anyway, so that's the only Copic coloring I'm going to leave in just because you've all seen people Copic color before. I personally love to watch people Copic color, but that would have made this video like an hour long because <laughs> I'm kind of a pokey colorer. It takes me a while to figure out what colors I want to use. And yeah, it took me about an hour to color all these guys. But aren't they adorable? I know uh, it's my favorite things. It's uh, Stacy Yakula, I believe, is how you say her name. But she is a very talented artist, and I, I lo absolutely love all of her uh, stamp sets. She used to be with Purple Onion Designs, but I'm not sure if she is anymore. But I know you can get her stamps at My Favorite Things. So somehow I lost a little bit of footage, but um, all I did was I took my background. I knew it was going to be the Nina uh, Desert Storm cardstock. And I added some, um, just some dots and browns, uh, dark browns, light browns, and some white gel pen uh, to kind of make it look like sand or gravel or rocks. And then I cut my alcohol inked panel down using an old Avery L die um, called Snow Caps die. It's supposed to be a, a snow mountain, but it worked perfect for what I wanted it to do. And then I just took another piece of the Nina Desert Storm cardstock, and I'm going to heat emboss it. So I'm using my powder tool, and then I'm going to stamp it with the Simon Says Stamp Clear Ink. And then I like to use the Brutus Monroe Alabaster White embossing powder. So really quick, while I'm doing this, I wanna uh, I wanna tell you how I fixed a, a boo boo. See my fox uh, in the boat up in the the top of the screen. I colored the life jackets a different color blue, and I just didn't like how it, it kind of clashed with the background uh, panel my water. So I just stamped it out again. I recolored the little life jackets, and then I fussy cut them out and. Uh, glued them right over the top of the ones that were on my image here. So it I was an easy fix uh, and it kind of gives it a little bit, it looks like it, it's uh, dimensional because it's popped up off of them a little bit. And then um, I, I didn't do it in the video, but um, after I was done with this card, I went over all the fish you see, the big fish he's carrying and the life jackets with some... Uh, Nouveau crystal clear uh, crystal glaze I think it's called yeah crystal glaze and um, so it just gave it kind of an, an extra little detail all right so I'm cutting my sentiment strip out with just a fishtail banner and then I'm going to cut one of the edge off and just have it flush with uh, the card base here and then I'm going to start gluing everything in place. Now I knew I wanted some things popped up and other things not popped up. So that's, that's the next thing I'm going to do once I get this glued in place. So I'm using my favorite glue. Uh, I've, I've gone through it with the glues. Uh, I, I swap them out every once in a while. But right now my favorite is this uh, Barely Art craft glue. I'm just going to glue, start gluing things in place on my background. And then I'm going to add a little foam border to the water to kind of look like, you know, the foam in the ocean. Um, I've never done this before, so I just kind of wanted to try it out and see what it would look like. And I do like it. I just, the only thing I wish it, I would have done is let it dry and then go back over it and do another layer. Let's see. That's the only thing I would have changed, but I'm just gonna, um, and I'm just using a makeup brush that I found in my makeup drawer. But see, I, I just kind of wanted to make it look like, um, you know, like the waves when there's, you see the white caps on the waves. 
And then the ones you see up above are gonna kind of play into where I put my little boat. I colored the water around the boat the same color as the background because I didn't want to fussy cut out that little detail. I like the little swirls in the water, especially around the oar. So I just I just colored the water to uh, to match the background so it didn't stand out. So it says, fishing you a happy birthday. I thought that was adorable. You can never have too many birthday cards, right? So I'm going to pop these little rocks up a little bit so it stands in front of the gone fishing sign. Sign. I apologize if I sound a little nasally. We have had a horrible summer cold. It started, my son had it, oh, what was it, two weeks ago now. And nothing helped this cold. Uh, we were giving them echinacea and uh, Alka-Seltzer and I don't even remember what else. We were trying different teas and nothing was helping him at all. And then Ross and I got the same lovely cold. And nothing worked for us either. So we're still suffering from it. What are you doing, Kita girl? You probably hear my my uh, German Shepherd in the background. She's our, our police dog. She polices all the cats. Make sure that they are not doing anything they're not supposed to. Good girl, Kita. All right, so, yep, like I said, I'm just kind of figuring out what I want popped up. I'm going to pop the little pail of fish up too. And I'm just gluing everything in place. I'm using the black foam uh, squares just because they are a little bit thinner than the white foam squares that I have. And I didn't want, I, I actually, I put the seagull that's standing on the log um, up on the white foam squares and it's, it was just a little too high for my liking, so. I just did everything else with the black uh, foam squares. But I love all the details to this stamp set. You get all of these images in the stamp set. And the little um, tackle box here, I thought was adorable. Yeah, so I went over the big fish and then the fish in the pail. And even the little fish that he has on his fishing pole here, I went over all of those with the um, crystal glaze. And actually, I went over, first I went over uh, the all the fish with the Nouveau uh, Aqua Shimmer pen. Forgot about that. And then I did the uh, crystal glaze over the top of that. So it was sparkly and shiny. So again, I'm just using my Barely Art craft glue and I'm just gonna attach it to a top folding white card base. And that is my card for this week. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the card that I made for this week's Simon Says Stamp Wednesday Challenge. All of the supplies that I used are listed and linked in the video description below. If you want more information on my card, please head over to my blog, which is also in the description below, or it's at the bottom right of the screen throughout most of this video. If you enjoyed my video and want to see more, there are a couple options on your screen now, or you could just go to my video library. And if you did enjoy this, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. All right, I hope to see you back here next week. Bye.